I want you guys to understand how excited I am for this opening. It's been so long since we've done a PSA Get Ready Return. It's like one of my favorite kind of content to do on, on, on this channel. You know, if I find some cards or pull some cards myself, it's really exciting to send it into PSA and see how good the conditions of those cards are. You know, I've had some pretty fire returns over the course of the last couple years. And we finally got another submission. Now, back in February, I sent in three. This is going to be one of three. When the other two get sent back, expect you no know, openings on that. And I also have a giant batch of cards to send in as well, which I have to figure out... Uh, when to do that? I'm probably not doing that in the next week or so, but because of how backed up PSA is, that batch of cards, which has, there's some fire in those, probably won't be uh, revealed until at least the end of the summer. Hopefully sooner, but we'll see how it is. Before I start, you'll notice that I have a Charmander. A base set Charmander, actually, at that in this. The reason why I have this is because I firmly want to accept Poke Deke's uh, challenge video submission thing that he actually did. If you want to see the video I'm talking about, I will link in the description below. Basically, Poke Deke is another content creator in our community that uh, has come up with a series where basically you start with a card, specifically base set, and you have to trade your uh, way up to something else over the course of a period of time. And uh, it has to be a base set card. And I think you can have an unlimited amount of trades or something like that. But the whole point is, at the end of the time period, whoever had traded their way up to like a more most valuable card wins the challenge. So if you want to check that out, I will link in the description below. But I want to formally kind of accept that and say, I'm going to start with this Charmander. I pulled this Charmander myself a couple months ago, when I, like one of the last times when I've done a, um, a base set opening. And I figured, what better way to start and go back to the roots and, you know, start with this bad boy. So if anybody wants this... Send me your trade offers. <laughs> Send me your trade offers. It's also been kind of interesting to figure out how this is how I'm gonna do this with like quarantine going on and like you know figure it out shipping. I guess I can always just pack it in my house and just throw it in the mailbox. We'll figure it out. But I want to formally accept that and, and just kind of put this in the background. And yeah. So again, check out Poké Deke's video in the description below. Okay, let's open this bad boy and let's see what kind of goodies we got. Let's put this to the side. I don't want to actually reveal anything yet. So okay, that's the bottom. So we got Pokemon cards. Awesome. What did I send? I want to say, you know what, let's get into it. Why, why, why are we just asking questions? Here we go. First, okay, so there's one of these. I do remember sending in one of these. Uh, I, I I have two of these now. It's funny, that I've just seen the, the story trying to get my very first giant Charizard, and now I have like three of these. All right, do we have a 10? We don't have a 10! No, that's fine. Why is it a 9? You know what, we're not, we're not even going to question it. Although, I feel like getting a 9 for these is going to be much rarer than 10s, because like the printing on all these cards has been so good. That uh, if you if you happen to get one that's off center or nine worthy, Tengly makes it more rare. I, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the back. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect this one to be anything too fancy. I think uh, if I remember correctly, one of these was a gift, um, and the, the condition was kind of like whatever as is. But yeah, Justin, I think this might be your card that you sent me a while back. Um, yeah, that that infamous video. So yeah, PSA nine. Let's go ahead and put this in the back. All right, let's get into. Should we even look? Actually, let's look. Now I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious to see how many nines exist versus tens. Okay, before I check, I'm going to say it is at least 500 tens, 200 nines. Let's see if I'm right. Wow! Close! There's 270 nines, and there's 918 PSA tens in this card. Holy crap! I'm telling you, the quality of this cards have been so insanely good. Which is almost funny, like looking back how the very first... Uh, not PSA, it was Beckett. The first, very first perfect 10 for that card sold for 10 grand. How the mighty have fallen! I still think it's a beautiful card. You know, I, don't, I don't intend on selling it. It's going to be in my uh, possession forever, so I like having it. Okay. This is one of the uh, rarest Mewtwo's for me. Uh, every single time I ever got my hands on this, it never came back as a good score. I would love to have this as a 10. Honestly, I might just buy this. I might, I might try, to find, uh, try to find this on eBay for like a decent price, but the problem is nowadays, anything vintage is so expensive. Unless, nope, we just got a 9. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I knew it wasn't going to be a 10, because actually a while back, I bought, back in like January, I bought a batch of Mewtwo, batch of Mewtwo cards from uh, Troll and Toad, and I remember none of them, none of them at all, were 10 quality. Definitely 9s, but not 10 quality. And I remember when I got them, I was like, yeah, you know, send it in and see what happens. You know, there might be that chance where they're 10, they're just on the cusp of being a 10. But I didn't expect much. Honestly, I expected all these to be like, well, we'll see. I expect all these to be like eights and sevens, to be honest. But I'll take a nine. Okay. There's a hundred. Ooh. There's 39 tens of these? Okay, I need to get one for, for real now. Now I definitely need to get one. This is this is just a beautiful art. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in the background. Yep, don't knock over everything. There you go. Let me actually adjust my camera as well so you can see the whole background. There you go. Okay, let's get back into it. So, uh, next one. This should be all, this should be all Mewtwo's. Yeah. All right. Now, if you guys remember, if you uh, saw my video the other day, the promo promo um, level X cards are terrible. 
This is going to be like a 7. It's an 8. Let's see if this card has the exact same issues. I'm pretty sure it does. Can't really... Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. It surprisingly doesn't. If you guys uh, saw my open the other day, the prongs at the top of the tin are terrible for these. But again, I, like when I got this card, I already knew it wasn't going to be like a perfect time. I mean, you can kind of see whitening on the bottom and stuff like that. The front is great. The front is fantastic. Uh, I feel like this could have been a 9, but it's fine. Oh, uh, no, no, never mind. There, there are definitely scratches on the hollow as well. This is a beautiful card. I want to go ahead and point out that there's going to be a uprise. An uprise in level X cards over the course of the next couple months. Because again, uh, gold stars are out of reach. Shining cards are out of reach. First edition cards are out of reach. I feel like we're into that era of Pokemon collecting where anything the 2008, 2009 era, stuff like this, is going to start skyrocketing. So trust me. That's why I bought that, uh, that Charizard a while back. Let's see how many of these actually exist. We have... Um, we have 21... Wow! There's 21 eights, and then there's 12 higher, which is bro broken down between eights and nines. That's wild. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm hunt I know what to hunt for this week or this week this year. It's another Charizard. This is actually in really, really good shape, but I don't think this is 10 worthy. It's an eight. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, it, it was just a couple of small little hot spots. You know, little corners were a little bit dinged up. But I thought, you know, like finding a minty. Reverse uh, Legendary Collection card, I think, is like always clutch. And on top of it, I love the art. I, if I remember correctly, this is the only uh, Pokemon card art that was drawn by a magic artist. Rest in peace, uh, Christopher. And this card looks beautiful. I definitely want to try to get this as a 10. I remember I was watching PokeRev actually do an opening, uh, a box break on this channel. I was like, hey, if anybody pulls this Mewtwo in this video, I'll buy the card from you right, right then and there. Right then and there. So I'm going to keep hunting for this over the course of the next year as well. It's funny, like... A couple weeks ago, I told myself, man, I don't know what else to really collect. I kind of gotten like all the main Charizards that I wanted, but then like a bunch of cards came up, especially like the level X era stuff that kind of has me like thirsty now, which is kind of exciting for me. Okay, we have 119 higher, and there's uh, 32 eights, so uh, still fairly low population. I don't know how many are actually going to be tens, but I'm going to assume it's going to be on a much lower end than they are uh, of nines and stuff, obviously. Next one. Oh, this is going to be a ten. Yeah, there we go, bruh. I bought two of these from Japan, and I remember one of them I bought, I, bought, I didn't realize, was super, uh, it's obviously not this one, one of them that I bought was super, like, banged up on the back, and I remember I, I, I bought it and it came back at six, I'm like, how is this a six? I was so disappointed, only to actually look at the back of the car and realize, oh my god, there's a bunch of, like, creases in the back. So having one of these as a ten is beautiful. I don't think this card, in my opinion, is going to, like, explode. I feel like if they ever release this in, in English, it might have a, a chance at like being very, really, really rare and valuable over time, especially if it's a promo card, because promo cards are always kind of like, they're iffy in terms of how they're transported to the, to the cu customer. So if you get a PSA 10, the population stays fairly okay. It's got a lot of chance to explore over time, but like, it's funny, I never got a PSA 10 of Reshazard. Never. It was always an 8 or a 9. But this right here, I think, makes up for it. I mean, I feel like this is a much better card than the hyper rare version of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's 115 tens of these in the world, which, again, any car printed in today's era is just always such good quality automatically that it just... You kind of expect it to be tens, usually. All right, next one we got... Oh, my... Oh, this is going to be horrible. This is like a six or a seven. Okay, actually, I'll take that. I think this is my best... This is my best one yet! I have two eights. I have two eights. I remember when I got this... <sighs> Let me just double check if I remember this. No, actually, this is actually fantastic. Oh, no, that's what it was. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of silvering. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I remember when I bought this. Again, I got this from Toronto in the same batch that I bought the other Mewtwo's. When I bought this, it was a pretty decent price, number one. You can't really see it. But I remember when I when I got it, I'm like, man, this card is beautiful. It's got awesome centering. There's like no scratches. The back is great. But there's so much silvering on the side. You can't really see it. But I feel like that's what killed it. That's what absolutely killed it. And there's also a bit of... um. It's a bit off center on the bottom. Actually, you might be able to see it from this angle from what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Kind of, yeah, you kind of see it. It's over here. The silver ring is pretty bad. And I feel like that was kind of a common thing with Pokemon uh, cards back in the day from the Shadowless era. But yeah, I'll take an 8.5. I'm happy with this. Anything that's higher than a 7 for first edition Shadowless, I think is always a win. All right, now the question is, how many millions of 8.5s are there? Okay. There's only 11 8.5s. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything. You still want to get a 10 more than anything. But only 11 of these is kind of a big deal. And then 9s uh, and 10s, 
there's 439, which I assume are mostly nines. Yeah, I mean, I'll take, I mean, I guess I'd rather have a nine, but I'll take the 11, uh, eight point, I mean, getting a 0.5 is so rare nowadays, so I think it's actually kind of cool. Makes it more unique. That's going to my collection forever. Okay, let's get into the next one. Garchomp. Oh, this is a gift. Uh, it's funny because I, this is sent to me as a gift uh, right before I started collecting level X cards. And we got a nine. What, really is a nine? Huh. I, th I Usually when I get cards like as a gift and I get them graded, I always think, oh, they, this is going to be like a six or something. Because it's always something that I end up missing. But the nine's pretty good. A nine's really, really good. Look at that. Now I kind of want to get a ten of this, but whatever. Uh, lucky for me, for the level X cards, there's not that many that I want to collect. There's only like a handful. But Garchomp is one of them. And Garchomp, I'm cool with having a 9. I don't really care about having a 10. But that's still hype. That's still pretty hype. There are... Watch me see this 10 count. And it's going to make me actually want to get a 10 here in a second. There are... If it ever loads... Why is it taking forever to load? All right. That took literally forever to load. I guess... I don't know if my internet went down or the website just went down as I'm recording this. There's 81 nines and 17 tens. Again, I'm telling you. The population for level X cards are so low. There's going to be a surge in people, number one, hunting for them. And two, prices. So, like, if you have your favorite level X Pokemon... Get it right now while you can. Get it right now while you can. Next one we got. Oh, I pulled this. We got Dark Rye, Dark Rye and Cresselia. This is the Dark Rye side. It's gonna be a ten. No, it's a nine. That's ah, fine. These are always really, really tough to grade just because the entire card is hollow and like right off the bat, like you you'll pull this out of a pack and it's gonna be like it's gonna be like an eight or a nine right off the bat. It took me forever to get the one I wanted the most, which is Lugia as a PSA ten. But yeah. Okay. For uh, where you at? There you are. For the Dark Cry side, there are currently, wow, it's actually a lot. It's 127 nines and 74 tens. Looks like people have been grading these. I mean, I'm not kind of surprised because the Legends cards are actually kind of awesome. Next, we got Machamp. This is gonna be an easy ten. Okay, no, it's not. It's gonna be a nine. It's fine because I actually already have this as a ten, anyways. Uh, if I still have it, I should still have it. Because I remember I pulled the last time when I had like a Heart Gold opening and uh, <laughs> some fire, some fire was pulled in that batch. We have 51 nines and 43 tens. That's actually a lot higher than it was last time. I guess people have been sending these in. Absol, I think I, the last two times I got this as a nine. So if I get this as a 10, I'd be excited. Maybe next time, maybe next time. For Absol, there are currently uh, 33 tens, which is still pretty low. And then 53 nines, which is, it's still actually pretty low. I'm telling you, after level X, Prime cards are going to explode. Right now, I'm like trying to hunt down as many Prime cards as possible for Alligators, Typhlosions, Meganiums, like all the, the starters, and trying to get them sent in. I have a couple of tens. Like, I have like uh, Mew as a 10. I think I have Gengar as a 10, or I'm maybe not actually. I don't remember. I know I have Machamp as a 10 and uh, a couple other ones, but Prime cards, if you missed out on like the, the crazy arrow Pokemon, trust me, Prime cards and uh, the uh, Love of the Exes will explode. This is the entirety of this video, it's gonna be just this. It's gonna be a nine, isn't it? Oh, we got 10, hey! Yo, okay, that's a win. <laughs> I'm so used to seeing nines come out for uh, these Legends cards that I'm, just, I'm, I'm blown away. All right, now the question is, is the pop going to be crazy for this? Uh, not really, actually, 82 tens. Interesting. I, I I pulled both, actually, so, so the next one should be, should be the other half. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, for a second, I just had to make sure. Yeah, 10 again, 10 again. Ah, come on, bruh. Really? Yeah, just gonna do me like this? What's wrong with it? Oh, I see. There's a little there's a little corner down there. It's a little dinged up. Yeah, these Legends cards are dope. I actually like this a lot. I'm not a big fan of most of them. Uh, the one I really wanted the most uh, was the Lugia, because the art on that is just insane. And also, actually, the Dark Ride looks great, too, actually. I kind of wish I had the Dark Ride as a 10. Um, but uh, the Legends cards, I feel like they're so hard to grade. Especially if you buy those cards near mint, because usually they're going to be super banged up. Like near mint means there's going to be at least 20 scratches on it, which is not enough to, to get a 10. We have a we have 118 nines for uh, the bottom half, and it's 58 10. So it's actually still pretty low, actually. Final card. Oh come on. Is it 10? Is it a 10? It's a nine. <laughs> Bruh, you know what's always funny to me is when uh, when energy cards from the back back in the day are just bangers. This card right here as a PSA 10 is like a $2,000 card. It's ridiculous. Actually, it might be even more right now. Because I know uh, the Rainbow Energy, which I have as a PSA 10 from Team Rocket, was... <laughs> someone offered me $1,000 for it. Then I got offered two grand for it, like literally a week after that. And right now, I want to say that card is sitting around $2,500 for like a value. This right here is way more than that. I mean... 
The thing about these cards, again, Neo Genesis had always just terrible printing issues. You know, there's a bunch of print lines. There is uh, centering issues. This card I pulled myself, and it's beautiful. You know, I feel like I can resubmit this because uh, this came from the same bash where I pulled uh, Lugia for Alligator, which both of those came back as 10s. And this one came back as a 9 like twice now, but I'm going to have it sent in again. I'm, I'm probably going to submit this again just to see what it says because there's nothing wrong with this. Look at this. This is just great. There's no print lines. This is one of those rare cases where I pulled the card and there's just no print lines. The only thing I can think about is potentially a centering issue, but even then, it's it's not it's not super drastic. Like this is, I, I say this is a ten. I say this is a ten. I'm gonna send that one in again. Okay, let's actually check that before we end the video. But uh, the final pop report is going to be 128. Oh, that's why. That's why. 128 nines and 15 tens. I'm telling you, this is going to be a ten at one point. Cause like, look look at it. It's, it's flawless. There's no print lines. That's the part that kills me about it. Okay. <coughs> Almost choked. Uh, really excited to do a PSA Gray return video again. I can't wait to do more. The second I get more sent back, expect videos in the future. But for now, uh, let me know your thoughts and anything we discussed in this video. As always, if you enjoyed the videos, thumbs up, leave a comment. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.